as we fight the vital battles that are before us, whether it is the uh, domestic and international labor movement or the fight to get life-saving medications uh, that we as uh, a people have funded and developed, uh, it is very important to have access to the truth. We've talked a lot on this program about the internet as a purveyor of false reality and untruth, but you know what? There's fake news on your television too, and the way things are going, that's likely to get much worse. I am talking about the Sinclair Broadcasting Group, which is a far-right, you might even say alt-right, media conglomerate, uh, very closely allied with uh, Donald Trump, that is now bidding to take over even more of our nation's local television stations. You know, it's really bad when somebody spreads false memes on Facebook or Twitter, but I'm willing to bet that there are millions of people in this country who give a lot more cred credence to uh, local news and to living human beings who are supposed to be paid to report the news than they do to random strangers on the internet. So this Sinclair thing is a big deal. Sinclair is trying to merge uh, effectively by another media company named uh, Tribune Media. The Trump administration has been greasing the skids for that merger in a number of different ways. And now, Sinclair is privately held by the descendants of its founder, Julian Sinclair Smith. They are, uh, if this goes, Sinclair will own 220 local stations, will have a monopoly on local news in many of those stations. Smith's son was the CEO. He apparently shares more with Donald Trump than just Mr. Trump's politics. Uh, Mr. Smith was arrested in 2004 for the solicitation of prostitution. Now, this is a family program, so we will not go into the details of Mr. Smith's arrest, but I will tell you that the offense took place in a moving car, a Sinclair company car, as it proceeded down Baltimore's Jones Fall Expressway. And I will say that his offense, whatever you think of its ethics or morals, displayed a rather indifferent attitude toward both public safety and the proper operation of a motor vehicle. Now, uh, Mr. Uh, Smith is no longer the CEO, but his corporation, which he and his family still owns, stands to uh, have a hammerlock on local television news. We could uh, horrify you with all of the many things that uh, the conglomerate forces uh, its reporters to do, including, by the way, uh, Smith's own public service for his prostitution arrest, uh, but we will leave it at this. It is Islamophobic. It has a horrible thing called the Terrorism Alert Desk. Uh, they are going to control local media in this country unless we stop them.